how to create a long weld neck flange using AutoCAD 2018. Hi, welcome back to AC3D CAD. Please hit the subscribe button and bell icon after watching this video. Let's start working on a 3D environment by clicking this drop down arrow beside the gear icon and click uh, 3D modeling and make sure your dynamic input is on, polar tracking, object snap tracking, and all snap. Let's start working uh, on top view and select circle from the ribbon. Click anywhere on the screen, type D for diameter option and enter 10. We have one, two, three, four circles here. So I'm just gonna repeat circle. Hit the center, enter, repeat again. Enter, right click and repeat circle. The next diameter is 6.19 inches. So what I'm gonna do is just double click this one and then change the diameter to 6.19. Double click this one and change the diameter to 5.75. Double click that and change this to uh, 4 inches. The next step is to create the bolt holes. So type C for circle command and specify center point for circle. Press shift key, right click and select mid between two points. Click that quadrant and click, click this quadrant. Double click the circle and change the diameter to one. Type Array and select the next one, the Array Polar. Select the object, specify center point of Array. Go back to the ribbon and change the num number of items to 8. Type X for Explode command. Right click to enter and click the arrayed object. Now bring your drawing to Southwest isometric view. Type L for line command. Right click, locate center, bring your cursor up for 12 units. Enter which is this one here. Extrude these two circles for 12 minus 0.25, which is 11.75. So highlight this circle and this one, go to the ribbon and select extrude command, bring up your cursor and enter 11.75. Select this circle and the bolt holes. And extrude it for 1.13. Bring down your cursor. Oh no, bring up and enter 1.13. I'm just going to turn off the grid, change this to X-ray, turn your drawing around, and select this circle here, and extrude it for 1.13.
bring down your cursor and extrude it for 0.25 so this is the face of the flange now go back to the ribbon and select union command combine this one and this object go back to the ribbon again and select subtract command and click this object that you want to keep right click and select the objects you want to remove right click go back to the ribbon again and select subtract command click this object right click and select the object you want to remove I'm going to change this to realistic I have to poke a hole through so go back to the ribbon and select press pull command and highlight this um, area here and just bring down your cursor and left click I think we're done I'm just gonna go to solid and select fillet edge and select radius and enter 0.5 and click this edge right click to enter and enter again to accept I'm gonna go back to my model copy this one so I could bring the materials that I did earlier so go to clipboard copy with base point click here and control V to paste type materials now I have the materials I did earlier so I'm just gonna grab that and click that object just gonna close this one I'm gonna change the visualization so go to visualize uh, select sun status and um, turn off the def default lighting adjust exposure setting turn environment on select background select gradient select three colors click the top color I'm gonna select dark blue okay select the middle one maybe this color and the bottom color a lighter one I'm just gonna adjust the exposure go to top view uh, first I'm just gonna minimize that one maximize this one go to home and select slice I'm gonna slice that one from this quadrant and bring your cursor to the right and select the side that you want to keep I'm gonna bring my cursor up and select that I'm gonna bring this top view I'm gonna select slice again select that from this point to this point 
and select top. Go back to the ribbon and select union command because we forgot to combine this one, the race face. Union, select that and select this one. Now it's one object. And this one, yeah, we're okay. I think we're done. Please hit the subscribe button and see you again. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.